Okay guys, so this coffee table goes with the end tables and the entertainment center here in our living room. Um, however, we have ate at this table a lot, and just like wiped it down with wet washcloths, all kinds of things. Um, we just have really abused this table. So I'm gonna apply some polyurethane to it so we can give it a fresh new shot at life because this table is so nice and I love it and I don't wanna get rid of it. I wanna keep it to go with the set, but uh, pieces of it are chipping off on the top and it's just getting damaged. Um, you can put even like something hot on it, a white spot appears. So it needs a protective coat of polyurethane and I have been dying to do this for so long and finally I am getting to it today while the baby is napping. The little man is on the tablet. My other daughter is doing homework and my older daughter is just doing whatever teenagers do, you know, in her room with her friend gossiping on the phone. So yeah, we um, are gonna do this, but I did find these downstairs. So there are some like a little bit of like white chalky looking marks on the table. So I'm gonna try to cover it first with one of these. They are um, wood furniture and floor repair markers. So I'm gonna try it. These are more like gray and neutrals, but this table has so many different colors in it. I think I can honestly go with anything in it. So I'm gonna try something that looks like it would go with it the most and see um, how it works. So let's get into it. Okay, um, so far a light gray looks like it matched the best. So I'm gonna try to cover up this spot on the table. It is like, a white little chalky spot. Um, let me get the camera so you guys can see it. Before you apply the polyurethane, you want to make sure the surface you are about to poly is clean and dry and free of dust. Once all of that is done and those precautions are taken, you can then open your can of poly. Make sure that it is shaken up well or stirred really well before you start brushing it on. And really all you need is like a good at least two inch brush, depending on the size of the area that you are coating. And then you can just get to work. am doing three coats of poly on this table just because this is a high traffic area we have four kids so there are constantly drinks and different things being set on top of this table so with three coats I can ensure it will be protected as well as possible and you know you can't really tell how well it's coated until it dries so once it dries you're able to kind of see the areas that didn't get coated that well so i just like to do at least two in general just in case but i like say just go for three and be extra safe you also want to make sure that the poly dries in between each coat when I painted my kitchen cabinets, I did three coats on those and they have held up really well. They get water on them all the time. 
in different things from the kids, um, you know, dirty handprints and everything. And I've wiped them off and cleaned them and they have still um, held up and it has been a year already. And so far, so good. They still look just as good as the day I painted them. One down. Okay guys, we got one coat of polyurethane down. So far it is looking good and I'm gonna do one more coat after this and see how that looks. Possibly three, but I'm hoping I only have to do two, but we shall see. Okay, now we are gonna start making dinner. First, we're gonna crack two eggs and whisk those together really well. Um, I usually do three, but with the price of eggs, I think two will suffice. Um, and then I got a whole pack, a little over two pounds, about two and a half pounds of um, chicken breast tenderloins. And we are gonna put those in our bowl with our beaten eggs and then we're gonna add some seasonings I just kind of do whatever I feel like today I'm doing adobo seasoning some mrs. Hart's seasoning and then some garlic salt as well then we're gonna to want to mix that up really good with some tongs and let it rest I like to let it sit for at least a good hour um, preferably I like to let it sit overnight but however I did not have my chicken breast in unthawed by then then we're gonna take our breadcrumbs and just dump those in a bowl. Again, I just add in a bunch of seasonings with them. I like to add sometimes some extra Italian paprika and stuff like that. Here I got some Laurie seasoned salt. We are gonna start prepping our vegetables for the rice. I love celery and onion in my rice, so I um, am cutting that up. I like to slice it pretty small. And then I'm using the white rice boil in a bag rice. It's pretty much foolproof and really hard to screw up. My rice always comes out perfect when I use that one. So um, that's just my favorite, but I also love jasmine rice as well.
I like to take two to three heaping tablespoons of country crock butter, throw that in a hot pan and start cooking my onions and celery together. And I add a little salt and pepper to them as well for flavor and just saute them until they are pretty soft. Okay, now we're just gonna take one can of corn, plop it in a bowl, throw in a tablespoon or two of country crock butter and some salt. Then we're gonna throw that in the mic for two and a half minutes. And boom, you have a quick, easy, healthy side. Okay, now it is time to coat and fry our chicken breast tenderloins. So we are just gonna take them from the mixture, the egg batter mixture, and then we're gonna put them directly into the panko breadcrumbs, coat them really well, and then you wanna have your oil hot and ready to go, and then you just drop them in. I have my oil on medium heat, and honestly, that cooks them perfectly. Hey guys, while our chicken is frying, we're gonna take our two bags of rice and dump it in with the softened vegetables. And then we are gonna start adding um, our seasonings here. I like to add a couple tablespoons of butter to the rice. Here I am adding the country crock butter. We're gonna go ahead and add some salt and pepper to our rice and then some garlic salt. Then we're gonna also add the Nor tomato um, seasoning. That just gives the rice the, really the best flavor. Like, I don't know, I can't explain it. It just really kicks it up a notch and kind of gives it that reddish orange um, tint to it. You want your chicken to be a nice, deep, golden color when you go to take it out. That will ensure that your chicken is cooked all the way through. Look at that beautiful, crispy, juicy chicken. It is honestly the best. You guys, oh my goodness, serve it up with some barbecue sauce or Chick-fil-A sauce. Or if you have kids, serve it with some ketchup. I'm making up the kids' plates. I love these plates from the Dollar Tree. They keep um, everything separated and you're able to portion control everything quite nicely 
um, you will see I take a pair of scissors and I cut the chicken that way. It just creates less mess and then therefore you don't have a bunch of knife marks on your plates. It is easier for your little ones to pick up and dip their chicken and enjoy it. Would you look at that? How delicious. And I swear, it is better than Chick-fil-A. However, I don't know if my kids would agree with that. Here you go, Jolene. Is that good? She seems to like it. Chicken and noodles. Is that good? <laughs> she likes it. Mm. Hey guys, I just want to let you know that the table is holding up well. I have washed it once already and it has came clean perfectly. Um, everything is so smooth. It's got a perfect sheen to it. Um, it really has saved our table. It's going to make it last a lot longer. So that is good because it was starting to wear and um, pieces of the wood and the finish were starting to come off because the top finish was missing. So by me putting those coats of polyurethane, I just saved my table and bought it some more time. And it actually made it look almost like new, like really refreshed and everything. Like everything looks like, all the wear and tear looks like it's supposed to be there underneath the um, polyurethane. So I'm really happy with how it turned out. Let me know down below in the comments if you've ever polyurethane to anything um, to give it some extra life or make it last longer or for whatever reason. Um, I don't know, I think it's a beautiful thing and now I'm looking around my house like, what else can I put polyurethane on? <laughs> We're going crazy, huh, Jolene? But yeah, so anyways, it only took me like 15 minutes, if that, because the coach dried really quickly. Um, so I don't know, I just think that um, it's so silly not to do it if you um, have the time. And I finally had the time and I was like, you know what, it's just like one of those chores. I need to get it done and out of the way. I kept putting it off and putting it off. And once I did it, I was like, wow, this was so easy. I should have done it a long time ago, but that's what it is and it's done now. So that's what matters. But anyways, yeah, little Jolene just woke up. Hi, huh, say hi, sweetie. <laughs> yeah, little Jolene's probably ready for supper. Huh? Oh yeah, you heard the word supper. She knows I'm talking about feeding her. But yes, I'm gonna feed this little chunk and my other kids tonight. I think we're gonna make homemade pizzas. So maybe we'll make a video of that, we'll see. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Okay, bye. bye, -bye. Say bye, Jolene. Bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. <laughs>